Hey guys, Alan from Crewfire here. Crewfire is the brand ambassador platform that helps direct-to-consumer e-commerce brands turn their customers into their army of brand ambassadors. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the four things that every brand ambassador recruitment page has to have in order to be successful. Let's jump in. So the brand ambassador program landing page is going to be your center hub for all of your ambassador recruiting efforts. So whether you're doing job listing, external job listings or social media announcements or announcing the program in email, all of those different recruiting efforts generally will point back to one page on your website, like yourbrand.com slash ambassadors, for example. And this page has to have a few elements in place in order to be successful and to successfully advertise and market your program to your target brand ambassadors and get them excited and enthusiastic uh, and then get them to join the program. And so all four or all brand ambassador programs that we've seen be successful have these landing pages that touch on four key elements. And the four key elements are first, the benefits, second, the responsibilities, third is a call, uh, call them out in terms of who they are. And then fourth is a call to action. So benefits, responsibilities, persona, call to action. And I'll talk about each one of those here. So the first is the benefits. You really want to, just like any other marketing or sales page, it's super important to consider who the other person is and why they should take action. You don't want to just talk about what you need as the brand owner or as the entrepreneur or the marketer. Like this is, you know, join our program, help us promote our brand. That's actually the wrong way to approach it. Like any other marketing or sales copy, you really need to step into the shoes of that target persona and think what, how can we make this as irresistible as possible for this, for the other person, for them. And so for a brand ambassador program, the obvious things to, the obvious benefits are going to be things like, you know, points and rewards, referral commissions, free product, free shipping, discounts, special offers, that kind of thing. But and 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 definitely, you know, we encourage you to to promote those, but we actually think you can go a step further because those economic incentives are, you know, it's not going to be someone's full-time job. For most people, it's not going to be their full-time job. And ec economic incentives are not really the best motivator anyway. There are other things that the program that these programs offer that you should get creative and think about and encourage your ambassadors to remember those benefits as well. And this is something that you should do not only in, in recruiting, but through onboarding and training and the ongoing management of the program as well. And and so if we think about what these other incentives could be, it's things like community, finding their tribe, participating in the growth of the brand career advancement opportunities, learning opportunities, opportunities for recognition from the brand. If, you know, for a brand ambassador program to work, there obviously has to be a deep emotional connection between the ambassador and the brand. It's, by the way, it's not every brand that can pull this off. You really have to have that strong cult-like following in order for this to work, best case scenario. So the benefits, there, there's, there's a lot of different benefits. And, and, and one of the best ones, some of the best ones we've seen are, you know, like the learning opportunity, access to the brand, and career advancement opportunities. When I was a brand ambassador, when I was a street team member for some of the brands that I loved back in high school and college, these were some of the things that changed my life. They set me on a career path where here I am today building tools for brand ambassador programs. So, and you can think about it as a brand. Like if you are if you wanna go hire an internet marketer or a graphic designer or a video editor, how much more seriously would you take an applicant if they said, yeah, here's my portfolio, here's my resume, and I'm in your brand ambassador program? You know, you could legitimately hire out of these ambassador programs. We see it happen all the time. And so really there's a major benefit there for people that are in your brand ambassador program. Not, not only are they, you know, connecting with other people and they're earning, you know, maybe free products or, or discounts or coupons, but they actually also get a chance to stand out as a, you know, and, and have legitimate career advancement opportunities. So, um, sell the benefits and really drive that home. That's the first section. The second section, you want to talk about the roles and responsibilities. You want to give people, like any job listing, you want to give people an idea of what it, what being a brand ambassador entails. Does it entail representing you at in-person events? Does it entail sharing your coupon codes and discount codes with friends on social media? Does it involve creating content? Does it involve writing blog posts? All of these things, you want to make sure that you have, you give people an idea of what they're signing up for so that 
you know, there's no surprises once they get into the program. So that's the second part is the roles and responsibilities. Uh, third, you want to give an idea of who the target customer persona is or the target ambassador persona in this case. You want to call them out a little bit, kind of like in a, uh, in a job post. Who are you? What experience do you have? What expertise do you have? What's your, um, it, whether it's a, you know, age range or gender or any sort of criteria that helps you define who your ideal ambassador is, you want to arm them with that too so they can, you know, kind of self-select in or out of the program. Just like any other job listing, the more specific you can get with this, the more, the deeper it'll resonate with that target person. So give them an idea of who you're looking for for this program. If you're an energetic, ambitious, driven, you know, social, like a social media creator, we would love to have you in our program, you know, the, you know something like that. Or make sure that it's on brand for you. Obviously, take that and, and you know, make it your own. But giving people an idea of who you're looking for will make all of your recruitment efforts way more valuable so that you're filtering in higher quality applicants. Last but not least, you want to have a great call to action. Uh, you want to have, you know, join the ambassador program. You know, it's a link to the sign up form. With CrewFire, we have the sign up forms that you can embed in these play, uh, in these pages, or you can link to your CrewFire sign up form. Um, and you can put this call to action, like this, join our ambassador program after each section. So benefits, join the ambassador or sign up now or apply now, and then roles and responsibilities, apply now, and then who are you and then apply now so just like a just like any other sales or marketing page if people are ready to apply you know you want to give them or people are ready to convert you want to give them that opportunity throughout the page um multiple times and then maybe by the you know maybe by the first time or second or third time they'll they'll get excited enough they'll and they'll apply um, a few more uh, pieces of advice for this ambassador landing page is to make it very visual make it very energetic uh, we'll drop some examples in the description below or in the blog post at crewfire.com slash blog um, of some, you know, pages that really, you know, images speak a, th a thousand words. They can really convey your brand. They can really convey the energy that you're looking for. They can really convey the vibe of the individual or the program that you're looking for. So building it in with graphics and images are a great way for you to make these ambassador landing pages much more enticing and exciting for the person on the other side. Um, so that is, those are the four components of an effective brand ambassador landing page. Uh, in future videos, we'll talk about how to drive traffic and how to raise awareness for that ambassador landing page, but that is going to be the center hub for all of your ambassador recruiting efforts. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any other questions or are interested in learning more about brand ambassadors, we have tons of great resources for you at crewfire.com resources. Go to crewfire.com and check it out. Again, my name is Alan. Thanks for watching. Bye.